The Battle of Tukula Forest was one of the first battles of World War II, during the 1939 invasion of Poland. The battle began the 1st of September and ended the 5th of September with a major German victory. Thanks to poor Polish command and control, as well as German numerical and tactical superiority, the Germans managed to cripple Poland's army Pomerania and, by breaking through the Polish corridor, to connect mainland Germany with East Prussia. The battle was fought against the judgment of General Władysław Portnowski, the commander of Army Pomerania, who believed the corridor to be a very poor defensive position and had repeatedly asked for permission to withdraw his forces from it. Chapter 1 Prelude Tukula Forest in West Prussia, since 1920 Treaty of Versailles in the Polish Corridor, is a large area of mostly forest. Its difficult terrain was thought by the Polish High Command as a good defensive position. However, the Germans had held their Truppenübungsplatzgruppe military exercises in the area until 1919, and were therefore familiar with it, and furthermore General Heinz Guderian had been born in nearby Kulm. Polish forces in the theatre comprised elements of the Pomeranian Army, 9th Infantry Division under Colonel Józef Werabij, the 27th Infantry Division, 53 under General Julius Trapella, and the Scoperational Group under General Stanislav Krasmot Skotniki. German forces in the theatre were composed of elements of the 4th German Army under General Gunther von Kludge, specifically 19th Panzer Corps, and 2nd Army Corps under General Adolf Strauss. Those units were based in western Pomerania west of the Corridor. 19th Panzer Corps consisted of the 2nd Motorized Division under General Paul Bader, the 20th Motorized Division under General Mauritz von Wichterin and the 3rd Panzer Division under General Leo Geyer von Schweppenberg. 2nd Army Corps was composed of two infantry divisions, the 3rd Infantry Division under General Walter Litchell and 32nd Infantry Division under General Franz Boma. Chapter 2 – Battle Despite several tactical Polish victories, including the successful cavalry charge at Krojenty on 1 September, and the destruction of a German armoured train near Chojnus, the German armies were able to advance quickly. Not all Polish forces were in position by 1 September and the rapid German advance generated confusion in the Polish ranks. In addition, Communications problems prevented cohesive action on the part of the scattered Polish forces. The Poles were soon forced to abandon plans for a counter-attack and retreated, pursued by more mobile German motorized and armored troops. The German forces had a significant amount of armor support, including over 300 tanks commanded by the famous panzer expert Guderian. Most Polish units were surrounded by the 3rd of September. Some were destroyed, while others managed to break through towards Bydgoszcz. Chapter 3 – Aftermath By the 5th of September the Germans had in large part completed their takeover of the Polish corridor. At that point some German forces moved to erase isolated pockets of Polish resistance further north in fortified areas on the Baltic coast, while others continued their push southeast, deeper into Polish territory. On 6 September, Adolf Hitler visited Guderian and congratulated him on his swift progress. About 2 3 RDS of Armia Pomors survived the very battle and subordinated themselves to Armia Poznan and fought in the Battle of the Bzura. Chapter 4 Order of Battle Chapter 4 Section 1 Polish Chapter 4 Section 2 German <laughs> 